What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. Now this is an odd question that we get asked quite a bit and it's, Luke, why do the tips of my cucumbers look super odd and misshapen? This one here has got a little bit of a, a quirkiness to it. It's not quite as nice as say this gorgeous cucumber right here. Now this one got away from me a little bit. We had a bunch of rain and uh, it's a little bit bigger but it's still firm so it's not quite uh, not super seedy. This would make a really good refrigerator pickle. But as you can see, the, you know, the, the tip's a little curved. It's a little misshapen. And in some cases, it can kind of get a little soft and, uh, and mushy. So what causes it and how, you know, what can you do to prevent it? So the main cause of this is a pollination issue. So when you have a flower, there are, uh, there are female flowers and there are male flowers when it comes to uh, cucurbits. These are uh, a cucumber, they're a member of the cucurbit family, and so there are male and female flowers. It's not quite like, uh, like a tomato or a pepper where the male and female uh, or, uh, sex organs of the flower are combined. So when you have a male and a female flower, it requires pollen from the male flower to land onto the female flower, which is the part that actually contains the fruit, and then what happens is if there's good fruit set, you have, uh, or if there's good pollination, you have good fruit set. And you can also see this with things like corn. If you have corn and you have, say, like a really rainy day, and some of the, some of the, the corn silks uh, get mold on them, or some of the pollen gets moldy and doesn't quite touch each one of those little silks, each silk corresponds to a kernel on the cob of corn. And so you can also have misshapen corn cobs very much the same way. Um, and that's just because of a pollination issue. But what can you do to prevent it? Or what can, uh, you know, what are some things that, uh, that can be done to, to give you better success? The first way is with hand pollinating. Now, if you can come in and actually use a paintbrush, um, or I'll show you a really simple way just using your finger, you can actually hand pollinate the flowers because there may be a lack of bees. It could be because the weather is too cold or the weather is too hot or maybe because it's been really rainy or cloudy and that can really have an effect on how many pollinators are able to come out and pollinate your crops. Right now it's a nice beautiful <laughs> bluebird skies, stunning day in the garden today and there's no shortage of bees. But um, this does not surprise me because when we had all that rain and the wind and all the craziness, pollinators just don't come out during that weather and so even though we've had great amounts of rain to give us nice beautiful fruits, it does not surprise me why we have some misshapen fruits just after that crazy weather. So, um, nice cloud. <laughs> It'll only be a second. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it can be a lack of pollinators. So come on in here really quick. I'm going to see if I can find some flowers to cross pollinate here and I'll show you what you can do to prevent it. So here you have a cucumber and you'll notice there are both male and female flowers here. This is a female flower because you can see the little cucumber at the end. And this is a male flower. As you can see, it's just a stem with no fruit. What you can do is when the flowers open, there you go, you can take your finger, gather up some of that pollen, and you can simply take it and transfer it to the other flower. And you can basically play bumblebee. Now, what also really helps is crossing plants because the more plants you have, the more uh, you, you know, the more uh, pollen you have, and the more you're going to get a good fruit set. Here's another beautiful cucumber, but you'll notice <laughs> the end of it is kind of misshapen. Um, but yeah, we have I mean we have great pollination. We have really good, really good fruit sets here. And what you'll notice is as the flower dries up. It'll dry up and, and the fruit will remain. That's how you know you have um, a successful fruit set. If the flower drops off and the cucumber also drops off, that means the, the pollination was not successful. But, you know, ooh, coming in here, look at this. Got a nice cantaloupe. Beautiful. So that's hand pollinating. Just in a summary, you can do the paintbrush, a Q-tip, your finger, doesn't matter. Just really be gentle, but get in there and, and pollinate those if you don't see many bees, because that can be, that can be a reason why you have misshapen fruits. <laughs> but in terms of fruit production, we don't have any shortage. Wow, very, very nice. Check out this one I just found. That's pretty misshapen. So what 
causes that? What are some more reasons that can cause that? Well, if it's not a lack of pollinators, sometimes the pollen just goes bad. This can be because of several reasons. So I'm gonna break that down into those parts. And those are also reasons for misshapen cucumbers. So still gonna be included in those five. The first reason is because the pollen goes sterile because of hot weather. If you have really hot weather and, uh, and you get weather above 105 degrees, that can render some of the pollen sterile. It basically kills off the ability for the pollen to, uh, to carry its genetic material. It essentially, uh, it essentially kind of deactivates the pollen and sterilizes it so that even if it does touch the female portions of the flower, it's kind of just dead. So there's, no, there's not really a viable uh, fruit set there. So it can be because it's too hot. It can also be because it's too wet. Now, pollen is very, uh, it's very sensitive to moisture. And if you have a lot of rain, what can happen is the pollen can actually mold. And if the pollen molds, the pollen is just like anything else. It goes bad when it molds and that can cause uh, improper fruit set. Now, this can also be caused from disease. If your plants have been infected with a cucumber beetle, cucumber beetles will, they transmit a lot of disease and nasty stuff when they, uh, when they start eating your plants. If you're noticing cucumber beetles on your plants and they were normally healthy, the conditions are just about perfect for growing cucumbers, but you're starting to get a lot of deformed fruits, that can be because the cucumber beetles like to feast on the flowers first. The flowers are the most kind of tender and they also, um, they're the easiest food source for the beetles to start eating. If you're noticing little holes in your flowers start showing up, it can definitely be because of the, uh, of the cucumber, uh, cucumber wilt. And cucumber wilt also affects the fruits. So pests can be another thing, but it's most commonly, uh, it's most commonly the cucumber beetle that, uh, that can, that's kind of your most common pest that can cause that. Slugs are another pest as well that do eat cucumber, uh, cucumber flowers but generally they don't affect the, uh, the flower itself because the pollination, you know, if the petals are consumed, uh, the pollination can still take place. This is most likely caused from a cucumber beetle that actually kind of stunts the plant. It stunts the growth, and that's why the plant overall kind of dies after the course of maybe two or three weeks once it's been infected. So it can definitely stunt the plant, and if you notice cucumber beetles, you're most likely gonna notice some, uh, some misshapen fruits. So that's the third reason. The fourth reason uh, that your cucumbers can be misshapen like this is because of a nutrient deficiency. Now, if your plants are really lacking nitrogen, what can happen is the cucumbers, they take so much energy, specifically nitrogen to produce, that if you have a lack of nitrogen and your plants are starting to turn yellow, what can happen is the plants don't have enough, uh, have enough uh, nutrients and energy to form fully, uh, fully sized fruits. And so what will happen is they actually kind of just stop short. They just form what they can, and then the rest they kind of just sever off. And that's because biologically, it might be able to produce a cucumber, say this size, but if there's only enough nutrients to produce a cucumber this size, it will. And what you'll notice is that the size that gets fully, uh, kind of uh, fully sized, if you will, um, it will still have viable seeds inside. And that's because the plant is doing its very best to produce offspring. It might not be able to produce enough energy to, uh, to produce, say, you know, 75 seeds in a full-size cucumber. It might only have enough nutrients left in the plant or kind of the, the surrounding soil to produce maybe 10 seeds. And that's about as big as 10 seeds is for that fruit. And so it's just kind of trying to conserve energy, conserve nutrients with what's left. And the fifth and final reason why your cucumbers might look like this is because of a lack of water. Cucumbers are 95 to 97% water. And so if you're growing something that's that high in water content, common sense would say that you need to give them lots of water. So if you're just kind of living, letting your plants uh, go and just kind of letting them uh, succumb to mother nature, if it rains, it rains, if it doesn't, it doesn't, oh well, let's see what we get. You're going to end up with a fair amount of fruits like this during the dry season. If you continually water, what you'll find is that the fruits do fill out. And again, that does kind of tie back to uh, the nutrient issue where uh, nutrients are uptaked through water. And if the plants can't uptake uh, water, they also can't uptake nutrients. So there is kind of a correlation between the two, but also water does tie into just how, uh, how, much, uh, how large the fruits get. 
You'll notice this with, with pretty much any fruits. If you have tomatoes, what they can kind of do is they can kind of turn small, hard, and cat face. With cucumbers, they turn misshapen. Um, watermelons, they'll turn very small, kind of pithy, and they'll ripen prematurely. So this does not, this is not exclusive to just cucumbers, but it is a very common reason why your cucumbers are misshapen. So if you have dry weather in the forecast, make sure that you're giving them lots of water. Cucumbers are definitely one of those crops where, you know, the more water you can give them, uh, better, uh, the better. And there's lots of people that even grow them hydroponically because um, anything in the cucurbit family is really going to benefit from lots of water. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I also do really hope that uh, you try growing some cucumbers if you've not yet already. They are a finicky crop, don't get me wrong, but they are definitely some of the most rewarding things that you can grow just because of the amount of food that they can produce in a small amount of space. You can grow them vertically like we are here up this cattle panel trellis. And just this year alone, we've grown just shy of 70 pounds of cucumbers. It has been an exceptional year, I'll give you that. We don't usually get 70 pounds of cucumbers from you know, just uh, about eight plants, but that's been this year and I'm not complaining. So give them a shot if you've not yet already. Make sure to check out our complete growing guide for cucumbers if you're interested. And also make sure to try different varieties. That's the last thing I'd say is if you're not having any luck with say, uh, you know, a specific variety, like maybe it's a Boston pickling, right? Try a Wisconsin SMR pickling. It's, say, it's still a pickling cucumber, but different genetics sometimes will give you the leg up and will give you better results. So just thought I'd throw that in there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, make sure to throw a like up there. Subscribe if you're not yet already, and we'll catch you all on the next episode. Grow bigger, go home. Bye. Ooh. Look at that cucumber. That is a beautiful cucumber. Just picked it, and I gotta be honest, this is the prettiest cucumber I've ever grown. I am stoked.